Okay, hi, I did mention this before and I've had a couple of days off now from removing the engine out of the Frontera but this started to bother me a little bit manufacturer thing when I took off the sump even though I'd left it draining for an hour let the drops stop when I took off the sump look at what was left inside there's the top of the drain plug so this must be the level that the engine sits at I have had a spirit level on this but it's not level so that would give a false indication of where we actually are with it once the engine oil had stopped draining this is what was left inside it and at the time on the video I estimated about a litre I don't actually know but I really want to know now how much muck is left in there once you've drained your engine oil as you're supposed to what I'm going to do next is empty that out into this measuring jug it's the best one I've got that I could find in my man cave because it's got all that levels indicated on it rather than just stamped on it that you can't see when you put something dark in it let's have a look I'm going to have to leave it draining for a while and get as much as I can out of it and we'll have a look I'll be right back with you right okay quick update draining the sump into this little pot we're about 330 mils of oil left in there with all the crap that's left in it but focus I don't know if you can see how much scummy yak is left in the bottom of the sump itself after I've drained it out while it was in the car there's no magnet in there attracting all the yuck I'm going to leave it a little bit longer and what I'll do next is put a load of methylated spirits in there and give it a brush out and then filter it back through into this same pot and then filter all that out and see how much swarf and gunk and yuck we can find that would still be floating around in your engine after a completely clean engine change guess this isn't something most people do but I'm inquisitive we'll keep on going I hope you find this interesting let me know what you think I may have been a little bit optimistic about the amount of oil left in the sump it's certainly not a litre it's not even half a litre it's looking like 330 340 mils but still there's a lot of gunk and horribleness and swarf swimming about in what I've drained out there but get a look at this how disgusting does this look I've already had a prod about it and it's settled itself out again look there's some huge pieces of stuff floating about in this there's certainly no magnet attracting it all when you change your oil that'll just keep swimming about your channels bear in mind I have to remain impartial I'm not happy but this is a 
3.2 petrol Vauxhall Frontier. Many other models are available. Just look at it. Look at the crap that's available in here. When you put new oil in top on top of this, when it warms up, it's just going to keep swimming around all your oil channels. And I'm not surprised that the car I've got ended up in the condition it did. Look back in a previous video and see how noisy it ended up. I've still got to investigate what's been the most damaged. That's in a forthcoming video. Subscribe to find out some more. I'm going to put some methylated spirits in this. I'll pour it all through a filter and we'll see how much gunk I can capture. I might even weigh it. Stay here and see. Let me know what you think. Like, comment, subscribe. Post your comments in the section below. And we'll keep going and we will get to the end. Bye for now. Okay, there's about half a litre of methylated spirits. Let's give it a brush around and see what we can get out of that pile of yuck. I've had to come inside now because it's just taking a little bit longer than I thought. Obviously I do have a bee in my bonnet and something to say about this awful situation of swarf leftover after oil changes the sump is now full of i don't think you can see it yeah you can it's purple in the sump that's methylated spirits i've brushed it around i'll filter it out tomorrow i'll add the 330 340 mils of engine leftover engine oil into that filter and we'll see what we're left over with Uh, stay with me. But I think this is probably going to be a good bit of advice. I'm not going to do an engine oil change on my own car until I go through this again every time. Stay with me. Let me know what you think. Write, comment, subscribe, share, and we'll get to the end of this eventually. Right, okay, I'm back in the workshop now. After a half a day off. Now this. Methylated spirits in the sump. I've had 24 hours to work, just about. I'm about to pour this out into what's left of the engine oil and then we'll pour it through a sieve down into a bottle and we'll see how much gunk we're left over with give me a second and I'll do that I'm not going to do it on camera because I'm probably going to knock the stand over tripod even. Bear with me a second, I'll be right back with you. Right, now I've poured the combination of the oil and the methylated spirits into this pot here. I'll just give it a bit of a stir around, a bit of a twizzle round so it doesn't look quite so purple. In here I can still see loads of bits of swarf. 
that's going to be quite difficult to get out to add to this little mixture but I think I'm going to get quite a result here anyway I can feel it on the end of this stick that's stirred up enough so I'm now going to pour this through the sieve and the funnel into the new measuring jug and we'll see what's left in the sieve if you can see that okay I'm working with a tripod here in it goes it's going through the sieve quite well actually considering it's thick engine oil look at that the last bits out are quite a lot of goo oh that's now like mud that sort of metal mud I might have to pour some more methylated spirit or white spirit through this rinse this out with white spirit and methylated spirit just get the last bits of swarf out of it and then we can see how much is left in here I'll do that and then I'll be right back with you. Right, here I am after my first pass of putting the methylated spirits oil mixture through the gauze and the light's going now so I don't know how much you can tell what's left over in this gauze focus not a great deal but that is really bad I mean that is flakes that is serious flakes that's not just swarf that's some horrible stuff that's some horrible big stuff I'm gonna give it a second pass tomorrow because there's still some yucky stuff left in this sump and in both of these measuring jugs that I've used. Unfortunately, I thought I had, but I don't have any methylated spirits or white spirits. I certainly don't have any petrol. I'm more inclined to use petrol because I think it breaks oil down a little bit more. I'll go and get some of that tomorrow. And I'll do it all again. And then I'll add to this mess and put all this onto a piece of kitchen roll and we'll see what we've got left and like I say I probably will weigh it this isn't good my suspicions are well let's say confirmed this is looking like it's going to be a long video but I hope it's worthwhile watching stay here guys I'm going to stay on it. Right, Monza says, I'm at risk of this becoming extremely tedious and uninteresting. My idea is to prove a point, and I've got to stress, give a disclaimer, this doesn't apply to every single vehicle on the road, in the world, out there. This applies to my Vauxhall Holden Opel Frontera. This is a Rodeo Honda Passport, however it's badged. But it is something worth checking for your car. Right, Monza, I'm getting on with it. Right. I've now run everything, the remainder, the last one third of engine oil from my sump through my gauze. There we go, tea strainer, whichever. I've also thinned it down with thinners and, as you've seen, purple methylated spirits. I've mixed, I've shaken everything up in this bottle, 
pulled it through the gauze into this here. Back through the gauze into this one and back through the gauze again. And this is what we're left with that was in my sump. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this. Look at all that swarf there. Look at the size of some of those bits. I need the camera to focus. There we go. That is all steel, swarf, shards, shavings. Some of them are pretty damn enormous. Look at that one. But then one or more of my big end bearings has a gun. So quite how much of this would be there in the event that that hadn't happened, I don't know. But if I'd have just done an oil change, this would have been left swimming around in the engine. Look at that, there it is, great big lump. So there you are, a cautionary note. Oop. There it goes, all over the floor, don't care now. I've done it, proved my point, I'll hoover that up later. Before you do an oil change, take your sump off. Clean out your sump and then put your new oil in your engine. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. Write, comment, like, comment, subscribe and share with anyone you know that might just have a car. Bye for now.